Okay friends, welcome back. It's been a couple of days, but we're still at this beautiful beach. Good morning. So we're coming to you from the beach today. We took a couple days to ourselves and we've just been hanging out here. Super nice. Got a little palapa. It's been great. No complaints. Really enjoying the water. It's super clear. Still pretty chilly, but warm enough to get in. At least when it's nice and sunny outside. Cools down quite a bit at night, though. So it got down into the 50s, maybe. Maybe 40s, even. Not sure. We've met some really cool people as well. Lots of travelers here. I think everybody's happy to be escaping the cold, that everybody is getting up north, back in the States and in Canada. We're not sure how much longer we're gonna stay in this spot. Maybe another night, maybe we'll head out someday. Hard to say, but really pretty. Just chilling. Some of our new van friends packed this awesome little boat into their van and they offered to take us out for a little snorkeling. How cool is that? <laughs> there weren't any reefs in this area, but it was still really awesome to hop on a boat and swim around a little island for a bit. It was overcast and pretty chilly that day, so we didn't last very long in the water. The clarity wasn't as good as some places we've snorkeled, but this was still such a treat. Thanks again Eric and Caroline for the boat ride and for letting us borrow your wetsuits. We wouldn't have lasted long in the water at all without those. We had so much fun with you all and hope our paths cross again someday. Here's the view out our window. Not too shabby. Apparently when there's a low tide, you can take that sandbar all the way over to the island. Looks like we'd have some pretty wet feet if we tried it right now. It's a little bit chilly today. 
it's only in the low 60s and pretty windy, so I think we'll try in the morning. But at least we have some pretty things to look at. You can see those white caps out once you get a little deeper in that dark blue water. So I get a lot of questions about cooking and how cooking works in the camper and there's lots of ways and there's not a, a short quick answer for that but one thing we have which I really like is this thermal cooker which I hadn't heard about until uh, a couple months before the trip <laughs> but apparently a lot of campers like it. As you can see it kind of looks a, sort of like it might be a slow cooker or something just you've never seen before actually but it's kind of like a slow cooker. So today we used it for the first time since the trip started. <laughs> so first time, three months, not super great but we're going to use it a lot more. <laughs> Anyways, now that we're in Mexico, we haven't been able to find canned beans and I used to love cooking with canned beans because they're so easy and quick and we just throw them in a recipe, but now we just have dried beans. So, I'm going to open it up and you'll see all the beans inside. So, when you open it, you've got one pot on top, nice and hot, steamy. I'm going to open this. Take this one out of here. We've got some black beans. And then if you look underneath, double decker, we've got some garbanzos hanging out, all cooked up. Super cool. So the way this works is you just have to make sure you get your, your pot. Oh, let me just clarify. I'm not an expert on this. I've just read a lot of blogs. <laughs> but from what I've read, it seems like you just have to have your pot filled up around 75% um, at least to hold your temperature and once you get everything up to a boil you need to uh, at least for beans hold that boil for a solid three minutes I did probably more like five minutes um, and then you just put your lid on and close it up in here really quick and then as long as you keep it closed up it's gonna stay insulated and it'll maintain the average cooking temperature I think for up to maybe 12 hours I read, maybe longer. Um, we didn't have these cook for 12 hours, but I let them soak overnight and then this morning rinsed them off and you know got them to a boil and I think they were on for maybe seven hours, maybe less, but yeah, cooked up pretty easy. So saves uh, on propane for us and doesn't heat up the camper as much and this will be great. We'll just freeze some of these and have them Easy peasy lemon squeezy until you run out. <laughs> but yeah, pretty cool. Better try one. Pipe them hot. Cooked. Ready to go. We're out for a little walk. <laughs> Nettie's not super thrilled. We just walked across the sandbar. Just had to get a little wet to do it. It's pretty darn windy today. But over here, the trees and bushes and what looks like maybe mangroves. I seem to block the wind a little bit. Seems like there's at least a trail. We brought the kitties. See if we can get them out of the wind, and if so, we'll let them walk a little bit. See what we find. It's okay. <laughs> What do you think, Nanette? This is all new, huh? It's 
Buttercup, what do you think? <laughs> well, the trail is a little gnarly. And Tiger was interested, but Nutty is not. So, we're going to let them decide what we do. The beach is still new for them. And the waves are going a little bit today. And the wind. No dogs, at least. No dogs and no people. So there's something. Wow. You're just not sure, are you? Wow. Okay, we're giving it a go. The trail is quite overgrown, so the cats fit a little better than we do. <laughs> Which way, Nutty? Nutty, this dead ends. Let's go, buddy. Found a cool spot in the shade. Now you want to hang out for a while? Ah, is that it? Well, we made it back. Yep. Nettie's upset. So jealous. She is a bit upset. Not a big fan of the beach, I don't think. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way Nothing can ruin my day No matter what anyone does or say I smile at fools No, I don't care cause I am on my way Up and I won't stop I won't slow down Steady on my feet I'm gonna rise Up, no I won't stop It is my time what it's like to be broke I know what it's like when nothing goes your way so I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day yeah I am on my way up I won't slow down yeah I am on my way up I won't slow down I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. And I don't care if you spill coffee on me or if the sky is gray or blue. No, I don't care because I am on my way up. And I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet. I'm going to rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. Good morning! We've left the beach and we're making our way towards Laredo. We've got about an hour drive and it's gonna be a chore day. Yeah, the chores have kind of been piling up on us a little bit. It's been probably a week and a half since we've done laundry. Uh, and probably about a week since we've been to the grocery. Uh, this go around, we're doing laundry a little bit different. Uh, in the town of Laredo, uh, the only laundry services that are offered is pretty much you drop your laundry off and they do your laundry for you and fold it and then you come pick it back up again later. So this will be the first time we've really just dropped off the laundry and let them handle it. So should be interesting on how that goes. Uh, we'll also be looking for some water and hoping it goes a little bit better than last time. Uh, the Aqua Purifica Agua purification station we went to last time had uh, uh, like a one inch cam lock hose that didn't quite made up with our field tube very well. So uh, it, it wasn't a very clean fill up, but we did get enough water in the tank to get us by. But I'm hoping uh, we can find one today where the hose will actually go inside our fill tube. That way we're not spilling water all over the place when we're trying to fill the tank. So 
should be interesting. Let's see what we come across. Yes, but much oh. better. Oh, the back though. <laughs> the hose fit perfectly. On to the back. After a successful water fill up, we dropped off our laundry. It wouldn't be ready for a few hours. So in the meantime, we stopped for lunch, did some grocery shopping, went to the pharmacy, and drove around town to see the sights. Our laundry took a little longer than expected, so after picking it up, we headed south pretty quickly to find our camp spot before dark. Turn right, then keep left. to cuddle up. Clean sheets aren't wasted on Nettie. So here's the results on the laundry. They folded everything and packaged it up in these nice little bags. Uh, we already took the sheets out and put them on the bed though. And it only cost about 40 bucks. We dropped it off around noon and picked it up around 4.30 or so. So not too bad. That's uh, probably about the same as what it would have cost if we did the laundry ourselves at a laundromat in the US. So definitely a good treat to have somebody else wash it and fold it for us. Sheets just make Nettie's day. Yep. Clean sheets equal happy Nettie. <laughs> oh. Are you trying to eat them now? There were a few campers nearby, but we had this slice of beach all to ourselves that night. We'll leave you here for today, at this windy beach somewhere south of Loretto. Tune in next week to see where we go next. If you liked this video, let us know by liking and subscribing. And don't forget, you can see more of the journey on Instagram and TikTok. Cheers, friends!